Hi, it's Adrian here from Top10PokerSites.net. Now, today I'm going to be looking at the top five most audacious poker room robberies. Invasion complete with handguns and a machete. CBS News correspondent Richard Roth reports this morning on this one-of-a-kind robbery. With the tournament's own TV camera rolling, the action unexpectedly moved off the table when four masked men shouted armed robbery and stormed the Berlin Hotel ballroom. Witnesses said there was panic with no one standing still. Diving under card tables or racing for the exit, though, nobody was seriously hurt. But if they were gambling on an easy getaway, making for the exit, the robbers must have worried their game was going south. One with a machete barely got past a security guard. Another was nabbed and brought to the floor. Then let go when companions came to his aid and threatened the guard, in effect calling his bluff. They all escaped and play resumed where it had left off with American Kevin McPhee in the lead. But their take, said tournament officials, was just in the low six figures. And with surveillance video and plenty of clues left behind, German police are betting they'll be found. Richard Roth, CBS News, London. Surveillance video from inside a Colorado Springs home, or a Colorado home, I should say, shows a man in a horse mask with a wooden paddle. It was an apparent brazen robbery during a friendly game of poker. It actually happened in Boulder, and the person who owned the home, David Bayless, hosting his weekly poker game, happened last week. Around 11 at night, his home surveillance camera captured a man breaking into his house wearing a dark hoodie and a horse mask, carrying that wooden paddle. His accomplice was armed with a gun off camera, yelling at the players to put their hands up while the masked man steals the pot of $3,500. These guys are amateurs. They're idiots. They're not professional robbers by any means. The crime, however, has shaken Bayless so much he's postponed his poker games indefinitely. Boulder police are asking for the public's help to find and catch those suspects. Minutes ago, a brazen robbery at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino. Around 2 this morning, a man with a gun robbed a cashier in the poker room. Officers say the suspect, a black man in his mid to late 20s, about five foot four, wearing a black hooded sweater with gray sleeves, ran from the casino. He was heading south on Orient Road. We have asked police for surveillance video to show it to you to help find him. As soon as we get it, we'll let you know. New video of that Bellagio Casino heist in Las Vegas. The brazen armed robber still on the run this morning. And ABC's Nick Watt has more. Good morning, Nick. The manhunt is on. Vegas police last night releasing intriguing new details and security camera footage that show just how this audacious heist went down. Mid-afternoon, a silver Chevy pulls up at the Bellagio. We now know the car's owner is tied up in the trunk, the robber at the wheel. He's then picked up walking into the casino, a disguise of glasses, wig, hat, and a bandage across his face. I went up to the poker cage and uh, proceeded to rob the cage and took off with an unknown amount of cash. He even appears to wait in line. He's armed, but the gun stays hidden. Actor James Woods, who plays a Vegas lowlife in the classic casino, is gambling just feet away. He tweeted in true poker player fashion, we all were focused on the hands we were playing. And nobody actually realized it was happening. Could be a scene out of Perfect Ocean's game. Eleven. Oh, you bet big, and then you take the house. But their plan was to hit the Bellagio, Mirage, and MGM all at once. Cash in the shopping bag, the robber breaks into a jog, brushes past an unsuspecting woman at the door. Cops are called. A white male, 40s, some of that 22 caliber handgun. It's too late. He's out of the building, driving away. And Vegas police tell us that while the robber was inside the casino, the car's owner managed to pop the trunk and escape. He's been cooperating with the investigation, and police have recovered that getaway car. But the bandit, guys, is still on the run. Experience. It was so fast, you know what I mean? 
robbed at gunpoint. A professional poker player is claiming that he is now out thousands of dollars after leaving the World Series of Poker at the Rio Casino. Now, the man says that he was walking to his car late at night when he was robbed. Reporter Cynthia Maldonado spoke with him about the scary ordeal. It's an interview you'll see only on 13 Action News. Baji says it's the scariest moment of his life. He also told me he complied with all the commands, but is upset. The casino's cameras aren't really helping trace the culprit. I kind of froze for a second, and he again says, give me your expletive bag. Joe Salvaggi is used to walking out of casinos with plenty of cash. But early Monday morning, his luck ran out. Uh, I was a few feet from my car, and I see a red car. Uh, in my peripheral. Salvaggi claims a man in that car got out and shoved a gun in his face. Just a horrible experience. It was so fast, you know what I mean? Like, it, the whole thing was only 10 or 15 seconds. Salvaggi is a professional poker player. He is now short about $8,000 in cash and casino chips combined. The amount of money that I had on me was like a very small amount for a lot of these poker players that are watching. Caesars owns the World Series of Poker. While it wouldn't comment on the investigation, it did tweet out via its WSOP Twitter page saying, Reminder, WSOP offers security escorts to our parking areas to any guest who requests one. Please contact the nearest yellow shirt security officer in WSOP areas. We also have safety deposit boxes for use in WSOP cage, as well as wire transfer and check as payment methods. Salvaggi says poker players can be walking targets. As a cash game grinder, as we call it in our industry, um, we just have to have cash on it and hand at all times or else, you know, we can't play. Hotel security and police told Salvaggi he was targeted by a robber who followed him to the parking lot. They're saying that they can see like a shadow of like the altercation going down, but not enough to get a plate or an actual like image. Security experts remind you to bring a friend to watch your back while you're gambling. Be cautious of overly friendly people and be aware of your surroundings. Like poker players, we usually don't even cash out a lot of times. If you insist walking out with cash, security experts say you need to be on the lookout for people who might be following you. Have your keys ready and lock your doors. I don't want this happening other people, you know what I mean? And it doesn't have to if you take proper security precautions. Officers are looking for better security video to get a better description of the suspect. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Remember, you can remain anonymous. To gamble legally in the USA, you need to be over 21 years of age. Always gamble responsibly and please set your limits. When the fun stops, stop.